So we have two inequalities here, y is greater than 1 half x minus 1 and y is greater than 3 halves x plus 3. How do we graph the solution that satisfies both these equations? Well, the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to graph each solution to each equation. So to graph an inequality, it starts out the same way you'd graph an equality, an equation. So let's pretend this greater than was equals to. So if y equals 1 half x minus 1, we're going to graph that line. And that line is right here in the blue. That line is graphed. And now we take into account the greater than sign. So the greater than means that we're going to graph above the solution as equation. So we're going to shade in this area, all of this, this is shaded blue. Any point in this shaded area is a solution to that inequality. If we made it less than, we shade below. Any point is a solution to that inequality. And an easy way to check if you forget which way, uh, which way the sign goes and which side to shade is just pick a point. If the line doesn't go through 0, 0, pick 0, 0. If it goes through 0, 0, pick another easy number to work with. But this line does not go through the origin, so we're going to pick 0, 0. Plug 0 in for y and 0 in for x. Is 0 greater than 1 half times 0 minus 1? Is 0 greater than negative 1? It is. So 0, 0 is a solution. We can shade this side of the equation, or this side of the inequality, rather, this side of the inequality. Then we're going to graph the other inequality, y is greater than 3 halves x plus 3, and that's this orange line. We're going to do the same thing. It's greater than, so we shade above the line. We're going to shade this whole region as, as solutions to the orange inequality, and we're not going to do this. Again, if it were less than, we would shade the other side. And again, we can check with the solution here. Um, is 0, 0 a solution to this inequality? Is 0 greater than 0 plus 3? Is 0 greater than 3? No, it's not. So 0, 0 is not a solution to the inequality. We're going to shade this side of the line. So we've shaded the orange region, and we've shaded the blue region. The area that satisfies both of these inequalities is the area shaded twice. It's kind of like a Venn diagram. So this down here is not shaded. It doesn't satisfy either of the inequalities. This that's only blue satisfies only the blue inequality. This that's only orange satisfies only the orange inequality. And this that's shaded both blue and orange satisfies both the blue and the orange inequality. So on a test, you might be asked, um, here are two inequalities, which quadrant holds no solutions? Or um, in order for uh, this specific point to be a solution to the two inequalities, um, these uh, properties must hold true for the two inequalities, or here are two inequalities, um, where, in which region do all of the solutions lie, which, which quadrants hold any solutions. You, you can get a whole multitude of questions and problems with a system of inequalities, but the key is to know how to graph the inequalities and which side to shade. So again, greater than, go above, less than, go below. If you forget, pick a point. Zero, zero is easy to work with. Plug it into the inequality. See if it's true. If it is, shade the side with that point. If it's not, shade the opposite side. And the region shaded twice is what satisfies both inequalities.